This week on the Cruising Kiwis. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! This is Rob and I'm Rachel and these are our boys Finn, Declan and Ivan. We have sailed our catamaran Javelot across the Pacific Ocean. We would love it if you join us for the adventure. So just when you thought it was time to leave the boatyard marina, we have one more job. There's always one more job. And this is to change the seal on the deck porthole on Ivan's cabin, which in big seas leaks quite a lot. How much does it leak, Ive? This much. Oh, that's a lot. So we're going to change that today. And Ivan's going to do the job. Ivan is just degreasing the surface area that we prepared yesterday before the rain came. Please degrease me, let me go. You're doing a lovely job there, Ivan. I think I think that's good. Okay, next step, please. I'm all one for instructions, but sometimes especially in this case, the instructions don't really mean very much. So regularly place in the bottom of the throat the previously cleaned frame of the contact glue neoprene. Apply starting with the butt joint of the ends of the joint in the bottom of the throat of the side of the hinge and continue to tighten it. So that's what we'll do. It was but the work of a moment. We took the basic translation to mean stick the seal in the groove which Ivan did to perfection. Of course, the proof of the pudding will be when we're in big seas, but for now, it was looking good. Okay then, the butt joint of the end of the joint in the bottom of the throat, of the side of the hinge, seems to have tightened. Job order. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Oh my god. Stop, stop, stop. Whoa, who's driving? Lee. I think the engine's I'm sure it did something, something. Whoa. Yeah, he can Jeez. Do it. Oh my goodness, he did the front and then he did the back. They just went full board. Whoa. That's scary. I tell you, the engine's just got. Jeez, jeez, jeez. Dick. Poor guy. Oh, that closet back, eh? Hey? Seen that closet back, eh? Oh, what happened? They just jammed in here. Alright, I miss all the action, eh? All the good, all the good stuff. All the drama. That's a close call. Oh, gee, that got smashed up too. The tender got smashed up. Oh man, the steps really smashed up too. Oh, far out. As it transpired, the throttle on the lower deck had jammed on, forcing the boat into the berth at speed. The driver ran upstairs to throw the upper helm station into reverse, but with the throttle below still on, the boat reversed at warp speed, shooting back into the boats behind. It was because I was standing here when I saw him come in, shooting into his... Um, birth there and I was going oh my god he's going way too fast and then suddenly he starts shooting out so I grabbed the camera and you just... must have heard him crack oh yeah yeah, yeah. 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 I heard him crack I and I thought that was it I thought he was just going to stay there but then he put it in reverse and he literally he just shot straight back out again wow. and we so we ran out and we just kept, caught it on camera and honestly my heart was beating I, I 
you know, I, the and I was, was not in the area. I was nowhere to be seen. The adrenaline was flowing. This poor guy, and we all he know how much it. he just sold it. We all know how much uh, repairs no, on no. boats cost. It's just, just been unsold. Oh, oh, what a horrible, horrible situation that you're in. Yeah. But. I continue to do my Luckily, <laughs> Luckily, I haven't missed the Luckily, we've got oh. eggs on the yeah. on the truck. Yeah. I thought, I, I thought. I feel sorry for those guys over there. Those yeah. guys I know, right. the people who he went into on the other oh, side. The boat, oh, the boat's got a bit of damage. Yeah, there's two other boats. Here. It's your, it's the living nightmare where you're, I personally have one where I'm driving a car and I'm trying to put my foot on the brake and I can see that I'm going way too fast and I'm going to hit things and I'm pressing down the brake and nothing's happening. That. <laughs> what happened today. Oh. Yeah, not a nice feeling. Not a nice feeling at all. Meanwhile. Meanwhile, the e eggs are cooking. Eggs, organic eggs looking good. Mm -mm, mm -hmm. As if that wasn't enough excitement for one day, we had one more addition to the boat to collect. We'd purchased a new high field tender at a very reasonable price from Swift Marine and they were dropping it off for us at the boatyard. First thing I notice is this thing's like a rock. Compared to how I pump it up, I'm always whinging to the kids about over inflating. But yeah, well, uh, this is the thing. Uh, most people do under inflate their boat. Yeah. If you put a gauge on this, you'll find this is about 3.3, 3.5 pounds right. the PSI. And look, can hardly push your hand into it. Yeah. That's the way they should be. This boat will perform better, will last better, will do everything better if you keep it nice and hard. Good news, yeah. Okay. And it won't be a problem. See, some people actually think that if they do it, if they pump it up too hard, it'll go into the sun and it'll explode. That's the, that was my next question, because well, in the heat of the day... Give it a shot. <laughs> yeah, really? You won't, it's fine. Yeah. Well, it, we, we actually did a uh, an experiment in the factory where we made a tube same as this, and we put a pressure gauge on it, and a long line, yeah. and we pumped it up. And we got over 20 PSI, so that's seven times the operating pressure wow. before we could do any damage. Okay. And even then it didn't blow the seams, it, okay. it ripped a hole in the fabric. So, wow. yeah, so, you know, seven times. Okay. Uh, in the sun this boat might get up to uh, nearly double if you're really unlucky, yeah. but generally you'd be lucky to get over five pounds. And that's fine. That's it. But this is the way it should be. This is going to perform so much better like this and, and do everything so much better. Dinghies are an essential part of cruising life. They're our lifeline between our boat and the shore, our car so to speak, for exploring islands, picking up groceries and meeting friends. Declan fitted the engine, connected it up we took our new tender out for its maiden voyage. We have never had a new vehicle. No. Like the, the boat second hand, uh, the big boat second hand. All, uh, all our cars never had a new never car. Never had a new car. This is our car. A new this is, oh my goodness, that feels good. That feels real good. Of slowness. <laughs> we have reached that now. <laughs> Seems to be in one piece. It's hanging in there. It's a fast machine, it's also a slow machine. It does everything. Wow. The high yeah. field multitasker. It does seem <laughs> to be able to it. it does seem to be able to go That's slow. Fine. So that establishes that. Open her up. Open up, mister. If you enjoyed this episode, please comment, give us a thumbs up, and best of all, share it. It helps us heaps. Come on, eat it.